in the presence of everyone assembled here and in full realization of the high calling I assume as President of the Republic of South Africa, I, Matamera Cyril Ramaphosa, swear that I will be faithful to the Republic of South Africa and will obey, observe, uphold, and maintain the Constitution and all other law of the Republic. And I solemnly and sincerely promise that I will always promote all that will advance the Republic and oppose all that may harm it. Protect and promote the rights of all South Africans. Discharge my duties with all my strength and talents to the best of my knowledge and ability and true to the dictates of my conscience. Do justice to all and devote myself to the well-being of the Republic and all its people. So help me God. Welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Only see the son of Nome is my name and it's a Wednesday. We are expecting the president of South Africa to be inaugurated and you know that is the returning president Cyril Ramaphosa. Although the ANC failed to get the threshold that is required for it to form a government on its own, which is 50% plus one vote, uh, they have, as you know, uh, agreed with the Democratic Alliance and the Inkata Freedom Party to form a government of national unity. So today the president is going to be inaugurated and I know that for many of you, especially those who are migrants in South Africa, the focus is on what cabinet he will eventually come up with because you will know that there are three parties in the GNU and those parties are each meant to contribute a certain number of members into the new cabinet. We don't know the ratio that they're going to use or if at all they're going to use any ratio to come up with cabinet members or if there are some negotiated portfolios within cabinet that each party negotiated because that has not been made public, but we know that, especially for migrants that are based in South Africa, whether documented or not documented, and those that are on the Zimbabwe exemption permit, Angola exemption permit, and the Lesotho special permit, the focus is on who occupies the seat of Minister of Home Affairs. So we, we know that the focus is on who becomes the next Minister of Home Affairs. Is it going to be uh, Dr. Aaron Motualeti? Is he going to return? Is it going to be a new person taking over? If it is going to be a new person, what policies are they going to carry over from Dr. Motualeti? What policies are, going, are they going to change? What happens of the international uh, on, on the white paper on international migration, which has become a policy document that is set or that is was agreed or is was decided by the South African parliament that was dissolved before the elections. 
is meant to guide government policy on migration? Uh, is it going to be Gaetan McKenzie of the Patriotic Alliance who built uh, his political messaging around Abahambe uh, against illegal and legal migrants in South Africa? You know that McKenzie said that if he becomes the Minister of Home Affairs, he's going to first uh, deal with migrants. He calls them illegal immigrants. But what we know is that his hate is not for migrants based on their documentation, but it is based on migrants. It is directed on every migrant, everyone who's not a South African is set to meet his wrath. But you'll know that even if Mackenzie were to become the next minister of home affairs he is not going to be taking decisions unilaterally he is not even going to do any of the things that he is threatening to do because he doesn't have that power he wouldn't have that power you will only write those things on twitter because he doesn't uh it's different when you are an opposition party leader uh, from when you become a cabinet member because when you occupy a cabinet position you must do things with a certain decorum you cannot employ jungle rule uh, on a cabinet position because you don't do things on your own and several things in fact whatever happens in south africa is supposed to go through parliament parliament can veto some decisions that are seen as going against the constitution of south africa is going against the image of the country internationally, regionally, and nationally. So there is no way that this man was going to become the Minister of Home Affairs of if he were to become the Minister of Home Affairs would then implement some of these things which are, let me say, way what that he always preaches, the hate that he always preaches against migrants, the hate that he always preaches against, let me say, black African migrants because most of the things that he says are not targeting migrants per se. They are specifically meant to frustrate migrants from the African continent. Migrants that are of black skin. That is where his leaning is. So he, he is a person who hates black people who are migrants in South Africa. So there is no way that he, if he becomes the Minister of Home Affairs, he can then take these decisions. And you know, uh, as per the document that was signed by the parties to the GNU, that the decisions where there is no unanimous uh, agreement has, for it to pass, it has to be supported by uh, a representation of 60% of parties, or let me say of seats, within the GNU. So, it means that 60% of the number of seats that are in the in Parliament must be uh, represented in the GNU, which means that uh, the decision should be 60% of what is the membership of the parties, of the parties within the Parliament, within Parliament, those parties that are in the chair, you know that there are, there is the, D, the ETA, there is the ANC, but now we are told, also there is the IFP, but we are also told that there is the PA, although the DA, through Helen Ziller says that the PA was not represented and it was not raised, and therefore the ANC cannot add the PA into the GNU. So what it means is that for any decision to be taken, let's say these parties that are in the GNU have 300 seats in parliament. It means that 60% of those, which is 108, must agree that uh, this decision has to be taken. So they go to a vote and 180 members of the parties that are in GNU must vote for such a decision in order for it to sail through. So that is where uh, there is going to be uh, a log jam for people who come up with policies that are seen to be inimical to the progress of South Africa, both within and without 
the country that is in South Africa, in the region, and internationally. So there is no way that a man whose party has around nine seats can then claim or can then have the power unless he can convince the other uh, 171 uh, seats holders or uh, MPs to then support his decision. But we already know where the ANC stands in the issue of migration. We know where the DA stands, so there is no way that Mackenzie can then come up and force his will uh, into uh, the GNU or into cabinet. Uh, and then the main, main uh, possibility that I, I foresee is that Dr. Aaron Mutsualeti is going to continue as the Minister of Home Affairs because you will know that first and foremost is very professional. Secondly, he has a number of issues that he still has to pursue the implementation of the white paper on international migration, which has become policy, which he had left on the way or which he left uh, along the way going into this new cabinet. He has to finish them. So if he continues, as I suspect that the president will allow him to, then he's going to continue. There's going to be continuity in as far as the implementation of those decisions that were taken by cabinet, the implementation of those policies that are written uh, in the white paper on international migration has to be implemented. Uh, so that means there is going to be continuity as well for those that were in the process of applying for uh, the mainstream South African permit moving from the ZEP. There is going to be continuity in as far as the Lesotho special permits and the Angola special permits are going to be consent. There is also going to be continuity in as far as the investigations that were being taken uh, by the government uh, in as far as the issue of documents, South African documents that were issued to foreign nationals, that is the naturalization, that is the various permits that were given, that is the citizenships that were given, uh, is consent as the minister had already uh, said earlier on. That means also there's going to be continuity in terms of the court action that the Ministry of Home Affairs is involved in, especially uh, regarding the Zimbabwe exemption permit. So I personally believe that Dr. Aaron Mutualeti is going to continue as the Minister of Home Affairs. But if it doesn't, it means that a lot of changes will have to be uh, contemplated or will have to be uh, looked upon because if a new minister comes in, he might do what Mutsualeti did when he took over from Malusi Kikaba, who by the way, is back in parliament and obviously in the running to occupy a government uh, cabinet or let me say a cabinet uh, position. So I don't know what is going to happen. We look forward to what is going to be the uh, new cabinet of South Africa, how it's going to be constituted, who becomes the Minister of Home Affairs and who becomes the Minister of Police. So we look forward again today to the inauguration of the President, to the, to the swearing-in of the President, and then after that, we don't know when exactly he's going to come up with his cabinet, but we also want to know who is going to be the Minister of Police, especially for those uh, migrants who are here in South Africa uh, undocumented you know that there has been a number of issues raised in as far as illegal migration is concerned and we have seen lately uh, especially on Thursdays and Fridays especially in Houghton police officers going around arresting people, rounding them up putting them in uh, those kumba kumbas that you all know but the DA has said that this is costly this is not the way to go. They have said that, they have suggested uh, in their alternative policy on migration that people who are already in South Africa need to be given documents, they need to be given some form of amnesty and told to sort themselves out within a specific time frame, failure to which they will then have to vacate the country. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it.